I would just say like look at the science and like trans women are women. Is it equal opportunity for the biological women that are having to compete against them? Well maybe it just ups the game. What's going on everyone, James Klug here. Today I'm in Los Angeles, California, and I'm gonna see if folks around here support transgender athletes competing in women's sports. Let's go talk to some people. Should transgender athletes be allowed to compete in women's sports? Yes, 100%. I think so, yes, why not? That's what they chose to be, and um, I feel like they should have the right to, you know, perform as how they want to. Well, my answer is no. Your answer is no. That's right. Okay, and what do you think? I say no also. And why do you say so? Uh, because transgender women are women. Um, like I said, I think they should be able to perform as how they want to, but um, I feel like they earned their place, so they should be able to. People point to like Florence Joyner, yep. the Flojo, yep. set the world record for the 100 meter dash. Yep. Her, her world record wouldn't even qualify her for the 2020 men's Olympic uh, competition. Mm -hmm. People are saying that this biological advantage is unfair to women. What do you have to say about that? I don't know if it's a biological advantage, especially if they're taking um, hormones, right? So their testosterone levels are already going to be lower, which isn't going to give them a necessary advantage. So I would just say, like, look at the science. And, like, trans women are women, and that kind of should just be the common understanding and just, like, allow them to be who they are. There's women, female athletes, that are concerned about uh, losing championships to transgender athletes because they're running faster or swimming faster. Do you think that that's a problem with interfering with championships and stuff? Huh, that's a good question because like I never really thought about it in that deep until you asked me right now, but because sometimes I feel like my boyfriend has an advantage in certain things, you know, so like... Do you think your boyfriend, could you beat your boyfriend in like a, maybe a running or swimming competition or, or <laughs> weightlifting? No, I can't. So that's a really good question. Now that makes me think about it twice. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. I'm not sure about my answer now. Well, why do you guys say no, if you don't mind me asking? Because genetically, I think they're superior. In sports, if you're born a woman, you're genetically and physiologically inferior different. to a man's genes. Yeah. I mean, hands so you, down. Because I'm get, inferior. Yeah. I cannot do... Well, I mean, <laughs> I hate to use that word. Should transgender athletes be allowed to compete in women's sports? Um, it's a tough question. But I, I think they should be allowed to because you should be whoever you want to be and we are in 2022 and we're progressing. I don't think that that's fair not letting them in because what makes them feel good, like, you know? Uh, biological men, bigger hearts, feet, hands, yeah. muscle mass. Uh, people are saying women cannot physically compete with those biological advantages. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think, you know, that it is, that's true. They, they, they are um, taking like supplements and other things, but at the end of the day, it's just, um, important to just give it all your best so that you can and just believe in yourself even though there are many people who might disagree or people who agree. On average, men have 15 to 30 percent more heart mass, their respiratory systems bigger, hands, feet, muscles, um, and even hormone blockers would maybe reduce muscle mass by just a bit. Is it fair for women to complete to compete with that biological advantage? I think that they should kind of compete because um, if that's what makes them happy, then go ahead, but just know the risks that they're taking against, you know, like your opponent. Right, so maybe just train a little bit harder, you yeah. would think, for the women? Yeah, train like a little bit harder. Um, you know, just keep working out and just, and, and you can always fulfill your dream. Negative, negative. Why do you say that? Because a man's a man, a woman's a woman, man. There's, there's different bodies and all that. You mean you're, I mean, Everybody knows a man is stronger than a woman. You mean, how's that, how's that fair? That's tough. I could see how people would say no because if, you know, depending where they're at in their transition, you know, if it's male to female, then the more testosterone could affect their strength and ability and they could have an advantage. Um, I think everyone deserves an equal and fair share at whatever they want to do in their life and whatever is fair is fair as long as they're not completely discriminated against. I think that's really important. What do you think? Same. Same. <laughs> uh, why not? You know, I wouldn't want to be able to do something just because I was a woman. I don't know if I would feel threatened or like I would have a disadvantage if I was competing against a transgender woman just because her hands or heart or lungs were bigger than mine, you know. Just being able to see that person compete 
and being a member up there with them would be a great honor, I think. Whether it's a woman comes from male or a male comes from woman, to be able to do both. And the reason why we're talking about this, you know, Flor Florence uh, Joyner, do you know who that is? No. Flo Jo, world record holder for the 100 meter dash for women. And her world record wouldn't even qualify her for the 2020 men's Olympic, uh, you know, competition. Uh -huh. So people are saying women can't compete with the biological advantages of a male. What do you think about that? Well, I think if it's, it's an equal opportunity. It's like it's just equal opportunity. If you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna do transgender, you got to be go both ways. Is it equal opportunity for the biological women that are in that sport? Uh, I think it's equal opportunity for women that became male, male, or women that become male. That's my answer. But what about the biological women that are competing with biological males? Is it equal opportunity for the biological women that are having to compete with, against them? Well, maybe it just ups the game. Maybe it does. <laughs> train, train a little bit harder? I'm, yeah. To me, it's just important that everyone, no matter what your race, what your ethnicity, what your background, what your sex is, that you can just do whatever you want to do. Okay, yeah, it's different and it's new. If someone feels like they're not comfortable in their body, then, you know, they should have the right to do what they want to do to feel comfortable, you know? It's a more extreme than getting tattoos and piercings, but in my opinion, it's no different. Well, you know, that's a great question. But, I mean, how are you going to do that? If it's, how are you going to do it? Because most people would have an opinion on if it's a man, it's a man, if it's a woman, it's a woman. They compete differently, physically, you know, and mentally. Ooh, that's a hard question. Because, yeah. Why do you think that's hard? Um, because I think that it's true that if you were born, like, for example, male, you have maybe um, maybe you have an advantage over someone born female. There's a University of Pennsylvania swimmer that's breaking all sorts of records swimming with the women. Yeah. In December, there was a 1650 freestyle race, and this transgender swimmer finished 38 seconds ahead right. of, of you know, well, everyone else. My question would be, why not um, just add that those individuals in their own particular arena makes more sense, wouldn't it? So maybe separate it from the women. Exactly, exactly. Well, there, that's the competition right there. I feel like there's a solution where transgender people are not like barred from sports, like maybe there should be a third category. Do you think people would accept a separate transgender league for transgender athletes if they believe that women, transgender women are women? Um, I think so. I think it depends as well because like also taking in mind um, when they transitioned, it depends on when you started it because you might develop differently if you're on those hormones versus if you developed like as a man and then you know transitioned later in your life. So you're saying maybe just have them transition when they're what do you think 10 or before um, puberty or yeah. what do we think? It, it's up to everyone like individually when they transition. Like I respect transgender and being what you identify as like I'm all with that, but like when it comes to like competing at that level, I just think that the playing field has to definitely be equal. Um, so you just think it's, for them, it's unfair when it comes to actual competitions. Right now, transgender athletes, I mean, they are smashing records Yeah. in, no, in women's sports. I do. I, I just think it's unfair. I think it's unfair. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So did any of these responses surprise you? I want to know. Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that bell notification button so you're notified when I post. We'll see you guys next time. We gotta say hi to Finn as well. Hello, Finn. How you doing? All right, so uh, we met Finn. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe.